Hello guys, so Jarrah speaking, welcome to LJP3 Reacts, episode number 944, and today we're reacting to, um, Million Island Sharks, season, um, 2, episode 5, we're reacting to this beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. One turn of a single car could be worth one million dollars. From Campbell, California, it's Million Dollar Shot. Wow. And now, here's your host, the star of Million Dollar Shark, Alex Thank you very much, Thank you, thank you. Man, you guys are too kind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show where one turn of a single card could earn you a million dollars, and that is Million Dollar Sharks. I'm Alex Perry, from Master Ceremonies, and now let's open up the board and get to the card. Yep. We've already loaded the cards before we went on the air. The red cards will be played by one, and the blue will be played by another. And let's introduce our contestants for tonight, which are Christopher Rahman and Noah Longmire. Welcome, players. Mm. Hi. We're all doing good, Chris. Chris, all the way from Florida. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. I apologize about that. But um, I am Christopher Hom and just turned double deuce of 22. I am from wow. Big Florida. I am an avid game show fan and plus an avid reality show fan when it comes to Big Brother and Survivor. Well, nice to hear, Chris. I'm glad you like those little shows over there. Glad to have you here, Chris. No Longmire from Crosby, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Alex. Hello, Noah. Good to have you be here again. Remind us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm Noah Longmire. I'm also 22 years old and from you. Like you said, Crosby. Um, I'm a game show fan, and uh, you pretty much know about me. That's right. We these contestants have been here before. They're back again for another season, and yes. one of them is guaranteed to play the big money cards where they can win up to one million dollars. You guys ready to play? Uh, ready. ready. All right. We play the best two out of three match, and the winner of the match will get six thousand dollars and hopefully turn that into a million dollars. Chris, you won a twenty cost backstage, so you get to go first. We asked one hundred dentists. Have you ever drilled the wrong tooth by mistake? How many dentists said yes, they drilled the wrong tooth by mistake? I can think of one or two things why they would happen. A, they probably feel not experienced, or B, they're probably drunk. Or you oh. or pretty much put their laughing laughing gas on them beforehand. Mm -hmm. Uh let's go forty five. Forty five out of hundred dentists say they drilled the wrong tooth by mistake. Noah? Okay. It's like Chris said, they can either be uh, new to it or experienced, or it could be drunk. So I'm going to say higher. We're going to say it's higher. The option number 10 is they drove the wrong tooth by mistake is 25. That's not higher. Lower. Chris, wow. you control the card. Let's see your opening base card. It's an 8. Get rid of it, please. We're getting rid of it, and we're giving you a 6. Slightly better. Uh, slightly better, but not the card that I and nobody likes. Um, let's go higher. Higher than that six, oh. a duplicate card. Wow. It's not higher or lower. You go back to your base card, and Noah gets a free chance. Woo! Lower. Lower than the queen of seven. That was a pretty tricky card there. Yes. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, what the heck? I'll go higher. He's a gambler. And Whoa! Off. It's a three. Both contestants go back to their base card, and Noah will get the next question of game number one. We asked 100 male New Yorkers, have you been propositioned by a streetwalker? How many male New Yorkers said they've been propositioned by a streetwalker? Proposition. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh boy, that's pretty tough. Now, I want to say not a lot of Yorkers pursue that, so I'm gonna say around 45. 
45 out of 100 male New Yorkers say they've been pro propositioned by a street locker. Chris. Maybe it's the same number I did last question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, same number. I thought, yeah, I kind of stole it. Well, uh, uh, no, uh, I'm not. I'm not bad at that. Um, depending on which, depending on where this is going, uh, let's say a little bit higher. We can say it's a little bit higher. The absolute number of New Yorkers say they've been propositioned by a streetwalker is seventy-two. It's much higher, Chris. Wow. Yeah. You got that six. Do you want to keep it or change it? Throw it away. I don't want to see it. You now have a ten. A little bit better. Let's try it. Let's go lower. Lower than the 10 of 2. Oh. Higher than the 2 of Queen. Lower than that Queen of 3. Higher question mark. Higher question mark. Yes. Whoa! Chris got it! That was a nice playing there, Chris. You won the first game of the match. One more win, you get $6,000. So normally this is make or break for you. We're going to deal out the cards for round number two. We're going to do that right now. And Chris will get the first question of game number two. Chris, we asked 100 male millionaires. Do you return a returnable bottle to, get to the store to get back your deposit? How many male millionaires said yes, they have? Well, I could see, I could see A. Well, one, we got a question, have they drunk out of that bottle yet? Mm. If they do, there's a chance that they're not going to accept, the stores ain't going to accept that return. Unless the millionaires out there are going to bribe some people to do so, to accept returns. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, let's, let's try 52. 52 out of 100 mil millionaires said that they try to return a return the bottle to the store to get the deposit back. No. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to go lower. We're going to go a little lower. The actual answer is 57. Oh. Higher, not lower. Six. By five. Let's see your opening base card. A seven. Why bring a millionaire and get rid of that seven? We'll do. Oh. Lower. Lower. A jack. Lower a nine. And a three, please. Two cards to win the match. No, we'll get the next question right now. We ask what her marriage counselors. Would there be the fewer divorces if all couples were required to live together before they got married? How many marriage counselors said yes? How many marriage counselors said yes to that? That's the question we need to know. Okay, this one's kind of tough, but I'm going to say around 50. 50 out of 100 marriage counselors said that the few divorces of all couples were required to live together before they got married. Chris, what do you think? Higher or lower? No, I hate you for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So many coin toss. That's not, that's really nice. Um, <laughs> let's go higher. You're going to go higher. The absolute number of marriage counselors said there would be fear divorces of all couples who were required to live together before they got married is 40. It's lower, not higher, by 10. Noah, now you get control of the cards. Your opening card's a queen. Ooh. Oh. Lower. Oh. 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 And Chris gets a free shot of nine. You gotta play because you did not win the question. Unfortunately, lower. Lower. Again! Another duplicate card, and both contestants go back to the base card. And we're going to continue on round number two right after we take time out for this. So don't you go anywhere. Boy. We are in the middle of round number two. Christopher is going to get the next question of round number two. We asked, what are female college freshmen? Are you afraid of growing old? How many female college freshmen said yes, they're afraid of getting old? Well, you're, getting, you're going to college for a reason, but I don't know about growing old. Um, oh. let's, let's go for 55. 55 of 100 college girl freshmen said they are afraid of getting old. Noah? 
Wow. Alright, now we have the queen. What would you like to do? Go lower, Alex. Lower a jack. Lower. lower than a jack of ten. Both contestants need two cards to win the game. Sudden death time. Somebody's got to win this on the play of the cards. And this question will go to Noah. We asked what her married men. Would your family, could your family survive for six months with their savings if you lost your job? How many said yes? Okay, now, I don't know about this one, because I think not that many people would survive if they lost their job. So, I'm going to go, uh, oh, why not, 50 in the middle. 50 in the middle once again. Chris, higher or lower than 50? One of these days, no. One of these days. <laughs> wow. Jeez, Chris Savage. Oh my God, Chris. But then again, but then again, it's better, better than if, if Logan Skeleton would be here. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what Noah would say. I can agree with Noah said here. Although it, I would say it depends on how much you have in savings to survive, unless until you get a new job, unless you get unemployment. Um, I say that's a tiny bit lower. You're going to say it's a tiny bit low. And a little tip. Keep the steady job. Don't be switching back and forth jobs because that will hurt you financially in the long run. Exactly. I've done that with different jobs like Blue Crew and Lanolo, and it didn't hurt me. That's why I got the best job in the world, best career, Costco. Yeah. Hold on. That their family could survive for six months. Especially DoorDash, you know, and the uh, other works you've been in the past. Continue on. With their savings, if they lost their job, is 53. Oh, Woo! Close, Noah. All right, here is the situation. You have a 10, Chris has a 9. If you wish, you can play that 10, and you could change what if you like, or you could pass control to Chris, and he needs two cards to win, but he has a 9. If you can go all the way through, we'll go into a tiebreaker match, but if you make one mistake, Chris gets six thousand dollars, and it's vice versa. So, do you want to play or pass control to Chris? With a play, and I'll change. All right, he's gonna play, and that ten now becomes a nine. Not a good Ooh. change. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. I'll go lower. Lower than that nine. And Ace and Chris wins the game. With Ooh. Oh boy. Congratulations, Chris. You won yourself six thousand dollars and it gives you the right to play the big money cards. What would you do if you won a million dollars? Honestly, put it in probably a bit, probably put it in your savings and probably probably invest half of it. There you go. Wow. Very smart thinking. There you go. My conversation to PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs> Joking. Continue on. Be wise with your winnings, folks. Mm -hmm. Did you cut the cards? Have to check, of course. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's open the board and get to the big money card. Mm -hmm. That $6,000 you had, you're going to be using that $6,000 by making high low wages, by predicting whether the next one is higher or lower while you make bets. You just start on the bottom low if there's $6,000, three cards on the bottom line, bet as you wish. Move to the next level, give another fourteen thousand five hundred dollars and three more cards. Minimum bets are five hundred dollars if you bet in five hundred dollar increments until you get to the big bet where you have a decision where you can stop whatever you have or go for it, but you must bet at least half of your dollars. And if you get a duplicate card, you don't win anything, you don't lose any money, you just carry your bet over. Understood? Understood indeed. All right, here's six thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. You can turn that into a cool million dollars if you play your cards right. Your first card is a six. Get rid of it, uh, number one. Oh, we don't have spare cards. We go old school. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, well, I didn't realize. Uh, I'm still changing it. I'm still changing it, though. That's all right. It's oh. a woo. Oh. In that case, all of it higher. Of course, it's a ten. Twelve thousand dollars and a ten. Okay. Twelve thousand dollars and a ten. Uh, we'll go about six thousand for lower. 
That's a big bet on a 10. Half the money. Let's hope you're right. Lower. A 9. Just barely lower. $18,000 and a 9. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, we'll go for, we'll go 4000 for lower. $4,000, lower than the nine. Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to 14000 but we're going to give you another 14500 taking you up to 28500 and you have a terrific card you can't lose. Of course, it's a 10 $57,000, and you can change it if you don't want it. Please? Sure. Anything for Chris. A queen. Ooh. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, we're gonna let's go. For, let's go fifteen thousand for lower for the queen. Fifteen thousand dollars lower than that queen. It's a jack. Seventy-two thousand dollars and a jack. Well, that's that's very that's cool. Uh, sixteen thousand for lower. Did you say sixteen thousand or sixty? Sixty. Sixty. Yeah. Thousand. That is a big bet on the jack. Oh. Lower than that jack. A nine. Oh my god. You move the nine to the big bet. Do you want it? No. All right. I must remind you, you must bet at least $66,000 on a turn of this card. A jack. Woo! You want to take your 130 <coughs> Excuse me. Will you, you okay? You keep your $132,000. Where do you want to go for it? All right, Jack. This can go either way here, from in my opinion. Um, Let's bet $120,000 for lower. $120,000. Let's see if you can walk out of here at $252,000 lower on the jack. A four. Oh two, my god! $2,000. That's an excellent chunk of change there. You're walking out of here with $252,000. Thank you for playing the Million Dollar Shark. Hope to see you this soon. And that's all the time we have here on Million Dollar Shark. We'll be back on the next episode, which will be our season two finale of Million Dollar Sharks. And hopefully, we can end off the season on a high note by giving away a million dollars. This is Alex Chris saying, please stay in the media Sharks if you can. Thank you and good night. If you'd like to become a contestant on Million Dollar Sharks, send us a request to 25 Facebook and sign up to join our 25 Facebook server. All participants must be at least 15 years or older in order to play. Wow. for a million dollar shot a Paris production group presentation. So that was Million Dollar Sharks, Season 2, Episode 5. What do I think about this episode? I think it was amazing. So far, this episode was a success. And that was the OJP3 React episode number. 800 and, um, uh, I mean, excuse me, 944. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. The next one's gonna be Spin for a Million, Season 2, Episode 5. Till next time, Sue Jones and Bob, Peace of Baby. The good more hours will be as against me soon. Till then, Jefferson out. See ya.
Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.